we're back with Mark Drake and Mark uh, from Colorado, Army veteran, uh, and you just got through that uh, course and you were the last to go. And tell me about it. You're still breathing hard. I'm still breathing hard. I was on anxiety number 50 before it started, and once you hit it, all that goes away, and you just start hammering through there, and you just look at it and say, you know, can I really do this? Yeah, I can do this. Never give up, never surrender. Just keep pushing forward. And this is your first time competing in the slalom and the Super G? Yes, it is. Well, what, what kind of uh, things did you learn and maybe build upon? Because we, we really assume that you're going to be here next year and uh, show us some new things. Well, I'm going to be here next year. I just want to say that I won't be competing next year. I'm going to be there for the contingency. Oh, sorry, me. I can't talk. I'm still out of breath. <laughs> We're having the 2010 Games in Denver, and I'm in charge of the cycling event, so along with one of our uh, staff members from the hospital, and that's what I'm going to be observing instead of racing in it this year. But, yeah, I will be in the wheelchair games next year. Yeah, well, that's great. But, you know, there's, this is only one event. We want to make sure you're here. Just make sure you do this, the slalom and qualify. It will only take a couple hours out of your week. It's the most fun event. <laughs> yeah, I've ever yeah, done. good. Good. Can you tell me what happened to you out there that was quite an unusual? Well, not, not necessarily unusual, but I'm sure unexpected. You, you, you had a little, little flesh wound that occurred. Yeah, it, you're right. It was just a flesh wound. And they said, yeah, is it going to stop bleeding? I just kept fucking sucking my thumb until they found some tape. Yeah, I think you dragged it on your uh, brakes. I hit it on my brakes. Yeah. No brakes next yeah. year. Well, yeah, yeah, there you go. Lesson learned. You even tried to do a backwards up that incline. I saw that. What was your thought on can't go over and under and around to go through it, so I decided to back into it. <laughs> yeah, well, you showed us a, a, a bunch of new techniques, and maybe they can be proven that they will work. And I'd like to see, I like your fresh eyes on the event. Oh, it was just a blast. I, I love to do this again next year. It's just, it really pushes the envelope for me. So is there anyone that you want to uh, share any thoughts with, uh, any sort of uh, uh, what you've learned from being here at the games this year, something unique? You know, if you never try, you'll never succeed. And if you, if you take no for an answer or you never ask, the answer is always no. So it's the same way in competition. If you don't go out and try, you've lost. It doesn't matter what you do and may, what excuse you make. You just, if you don't try, you're not gonna get anywhere. And that's what we're all about here. Look at all these people around. They've all overcome adversity. I'm so proud of my federal veterans. Uh, my brother's a chaplain in the Army right now. And I'm proud of him. And I mean, these young guys that are fighting and coming back wounded and just charging straight ahead like the f former vets, I mean, the veterans have done in the past. This is just an amazing event. And I'd like to see 3,000 of us here at once. You know, 50, you know, five, 550, 560 is great, but we need to fill the stadium. So we'd have to have a two week event. It would be great. I like that. Idea. Well, congratulations, Mark. Thank you so it's much. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice Thank you. Thank you.